भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर सारस्वतान से तुम गुरु ईश्वर सारस्वतान से श्री गुरु ईश्वर परिषण तो हे परमेश्वर परिज्ञान तो हे परमेश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा हृदय स्वरूप ओंकार रूप हृदय स्वरूप ओंकार रूप हृदय स्वरूप ओंकार रूप हृदय स्वरूप ओंकार रूप तू सर्वोत्तम हे जगदीश्वर तू सर्वोत्तम हे जगदीश्वर तू सर्वोत्तम हे जगदीश्वर तू सर्वोत्तम हे जगदीश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भवानी शंकर उमा भिन्न दिशले गुरु शिष्य भिन्न दिशले गुरु शिष्य अभिन्न झाले हृदयांतर अभिन्न झाले हृदयांतर भिन्न दिसले गुरु शिष्य भिन्न दिसले गुरु शिष्य अभिन्न झाले हृदयांतर अभिन्न झाले हृदयांतर भगवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भगवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर सोहम बीज तुम आत्मानंद सोहम बीज तू आत्मानंद सोहम बीज तू आत्मानंद सोहम बीज तू आत्मानंद विनवी तो तब सहजानंद तो तुझ सहजानंद विनवी तो तब सहजानंद विनवी तो तब सहजानंद भवानी शंकर उमा महेश्वर भवानी शंकर ओ नम शिवाय शिवाय नम 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 ओ नम 
शिवाय शिवाय नम शिवाय शिवाय नम भवानी शंकर बंधु सुन जरा सी दीन बंधु सुन जरा सी दीन बंधु सुन जरा जगत के आधार सकल जगत के आधार सकल जगत के आधार सकल जगत के आधार निर्गुण नित निर्विकार na 
We should know the person or the Mahatma who has composed the prayer. It has come out of his revelations, you know. Later on, the raga and the accompaniments, everything would have followed. But at the time, it came from his mind, the heart. So that means, unless and until we try to travel with the theme, the real sweetness of the bhajan cannot be had. So that is why in every bhajan we are trying to get the meaning, lyrics. We should have some idea, not necessarily that we every line should be understood, but some broad idea. O oh, saviour of the downtrodden, listen to my plea. You are the substratum of the whole universe, eternal, beyond attributes, formless, remover of the cycle of birth and death. You are the ultimate abode, Ram. There is none like you in the 14 worlds. You are verily the totality and epitome of all attributes. Seers and sages meditate upon you. Remove all my sorrows and fears. Your glory is beyond definition. Mahima Tumari Apar. All Vedas insistently repeat your glories. None can understand or go beyond you. O Lord, listen to my prayers. Grant me the boon of being your devotee. Now, you, even if you forget the entire one, if this one gets stuck in our mind. The 12th chapter, no. God qualifies who is my dearest devotee. So here he says, O Lord, listen to my prayers. Grant me the boon of being your devotee. Brahmananda meditates on you, the person who composed this. This insignificant falls at your lotus feet. Because, because you are you are the almighty Lord of the universe. I am nowhere. So the last line, you know. Grant me the boon of being your devotee. Dijo, eh? Nathu Meri Arajamana. Dijo Apini Bhakti Dan. Grant me the boon of being your devotee. If we remember this word from this poem. And then later on connect it with the twelfth chapter, last eight slogas, Adhyeshta Sarvabhutanam. We try to qualify ourselves to be his bhakta. No? He will say, okay, okay, have you qualified? Have you done this? Have you done this? So this bhajan touches and kindles in us. Hari Om. So what do we do now? Uh, we have all... Uh, eh? Ramnam. We will have uh, Ramnam, then join the Ramnam here. Uh, again, we request nobody need to go to bhajan hall. Whatever we have been 
blessed with to hear let us all consolidate our earnings you know and join till the rd is over hari om hmm? ah theek hai theek hai theek hai theek hai some announcements sir uh, just to uh, just to iterate the regular activities at bhajan hall uh, that is 8:30 am to 9:30 am and evening 5:45 to 6:45 they will continue as always in addition to the early morning sahasram and uh, guru stuti so these will continue as usual and uh, like we did today the remaining uh, activities will all happen in panchvati hari om please sit down oh, carry on